hi guys good day and welcome to my channel this is nana Bimpong. don't forget to subscribe to this channel today we're going to talk about 10 websites every student must know of. yes you heard me right 10 websites every student must know of. i know today you saw the thumbnail and it spoke about 10 websites every student must know of but however I advise that if you are even in the corporate world or you are doing any other business I suggest you take your time and watch this video because these websites that I've put together will be of great help to you okay so in this video today you learn about these websites and how best they can help you yes how best they can be of great help to you so these are sites that were of great help to me when I was a student or have been a great help to me in my work as a writer okay so first of all let's move quickly to number 10 number 10 number 10 and at number 10 we have a site that I found quite late in my school years at the university and when I found this site it was such a great blessing to me because it made things quite easy for me and the site is, is none other than zamza.com yes 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 zamza.com so zamza.com is a file conversion site which helps you it helps you to convert your file from um, any form of document to another form that you want so for instance it helps you to convert it from maybe let's say you have a word document and you want to convert it into let's say a PDF document it helps you to convert that file very simple very simply um, done and it helps you to do it quick fast easy and intact All right so I want us to check this out let's check it out uh, let's let's try it and see whether we can have a look at how zamza.com is so zamza.com okay so first of all zamza.com is here and when you open it you have this interface so in having this interface you would have to choose a specific file or you drag and drop the file but the file size must not be more than 50 MB you have to know that so let's say you select any other file let's choose a file and let me see do I have a file do I have a file that I can use okay I think I have a file great so let's use red go all right so convert it to let's say you convert it to any other let's say it's in word so let's say we are converting it converting it into pdf yes so you click convert as simple as that and you are good to go i think it's it's quite easy for you to do that and you would have to use this website a lot if you want to convert files yes the most simplest form of website com um, um what do you call it file conversion i've ever seen file conversion site and the most um efficient one i've ever seen yeah yeah so you download it and you are good to go i think that will be it yes okay so let's move to the next one number nine will be um hmm, what do we have at number nine number nine is pdfdrive.com yes 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 pdfdrive.com i know some of you know of pdf drive but some don't so let's check it out so pdf drive um pdfdrive.com is a website that helps you to have access to several books maybe tutorials articles from diverse authors in, in various fields and it has been cataloged into various categories so for instance you can choose a category here let's say because I'm a lost I used to be a law student let's say um, or I'm, I'm law bias oh no let me change it okay so let's do something related to children okay good so children we have parenting we have books on we have over 1 million books on the site yes guys take advantage of this site if you want to download an ebook trust me you have to go to pdfdrive.com yes so you can search for any other book 
um i don't know the book you want to search on but i want to search on maybe child abuse okay so let's check child abuse is it working we have different books we have new books on child abuse and research and all that and this site is going to be of great help to you yep 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 try it out don't forget to try it out pdfdrive.com the next one would be my number eight mm, number eight was number eight number eight number eight would be ah researchgate.com yep researchgate.com so this site i discovered it when in my early part of my writing years um in my job as a writer i discovered this website and i think it will be great if you check it out yes it's a website that has um uh, 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 it has several categories of research works that have been published on these sites so if you want an article for let's say a work you are doing or a research or an assignment you are working on you would have to go to researchgate select the topic or search for the topic that you are looking for and you would have to you would get several sources or several documents that are in line with what you are writing so let's try it out researchgate.com so you can join for free and in joining for free you have several topics so for instance let me choose or let me select something on climate change okay climate change um so you have several questions here on climate change okay let me go back um let me search for myself on environmental law environmental law okay so you saw that we had they, they have over 135 plus million publications yes 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 so take advantage of that and it will be of great help to you so so look at what I search on environmental law. You see, I've received a lot of options or suggestions. So the first one, let me try this out. Psychology of environmental law. And you would see what happens next. Okay. So for instance, you'd have to, um, okay, let me choose another one. And um, let me see. Okay. okay. So environmental law. So you can request for the full text. You can request for it and it will be sent to your mail. But in some situations or instances, you can read it on the site. Yes, I'm looking for one that I can easily read on the site for you to see. I think, yes, I found one. So it's a research article that is written on the roles of international environmental law in china's environmental productivity its challenges and implications so you see everything is written here you just have to easily download it read it take your information that you need and you are good to go so be sure to check out researchgate.com and it will be of great help to you okay all right so let me move to my next one which is number seven and at number seven we have none other than grammarly yes so grammarly.com so grammarly.com is um, a website that helps you to write your essays well yes it helps you to write your essays well it checks for spelling and it can even check for plagiarism yes this site is quite great very great so let's try it out grammarly.com okay so let's visit the website and have a look at what they have to offer okay so grammarly.com let's check it out okay free online writing platform yes so it makes your writing simple simple yeah it corrects boldings checks your arrangement and all that how that your paragraphing and then even check your construction yes so let's say you have written something that's quite passive or it's in the passive passive sense it can help you to reconstruct it into an active sense it can help you to also correct your spelling and all that so you can even download it 
on your laptop, then you sync it with your Word document so that in any any document, this is always so that if you are writing any document, you would have an opportunity to be corrected side by side with the documents you are writing. So this is Grammarly and it's good. So you can just download it here. It's absolutely free. You can visit their website and it will be of great help to you. Yeah. So minimize the errors in your essays by trying to use Grammarly and it will be of great help to you. Okay. So the next one will be number six. And at number six, um, hmm. so I'm trying to see what would be at number six. Guys, what do you think will be at number six? I think number six would be none other than Google Scholar. Yes, Google Scholar. Yeah, Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a great platform for individuals who are looking for research works, publications, and even case law. Yeah, case law. They have case law for you. And you open Google Scholar. Let's say this is Google Scholar. Let's say I'm, I'm looking for something on um criminal law criminal law okay so let's choose maybe criminal brief or enforcement let's say criminal enforcement we have several books and articles here several of them several books and articles that will be of great help to you so you click on the article that you want to check out automatically it opens for you and you can have a look at what you want to read yep so this is something that we searched on right now and i think it gave us a good feedback yes so check it out google scholar if you are looking for references or maybe you're looking for articles to get ideas from especially when you are writing theses or maybe you are writing a document or a policy statement and all that try to look out for documents that have been posted or uploaded on the google google um scholar website yes you search for it and i think it should be helpful for you so the next one will be ah uh, the next one guys next one number five number five is course hero yes 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 one thing most students don't know is that some of these lectures look for their questions from Coursera. Yes, you heard me right. Coursera.com gives you an opportunity to have access to questions, to have access to tailored answers or expert answers, expert solutions, a whole lot, articles, books. Trust me, one of my favorites is Coursera. Yes, but it's at number five though. But it's one of my favorite sites to use, yeah, as, 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 a, as an individual. I like to use Coursera. So, for instance, you, you are looking for maybe um, organizational behavior. Let's say I said on organizational behavior. It's loading. So, you would have diverse case studies, diverse research works, diverse answers. And it's such that the website is it's very, very well done. In, in the sense that it, it has various categories. So for instance, you go to the document section, you go to question and answers. Yes, you have question and answers here. So try to read around some question and answers when you have a topic or when you have a course that you think is quite difficult for you. So we have textbook solutions. Yes, we have study guides and all that. We have courses here and so so many others yes Coursera is quite great okay so number four number four number four number four number four number four we have none other than youtube.com yes so i discovered in my latter part of my studies in the university that most students use youtube for academic purposes and i didn't know but when i found out i tried to check it out and it was one of the most helpful things that happened to me as a student. So let's say we have something on, um, let's say, let me, let me think about a topic, assaults. Okay, so assaults, we have a topic, assault on, in really assault on tort law, maybe tort law, 
tort law assault okay so let's check it out so tort law assault you have different teachers who would help you to understand your topic better and especially with the sciences and those in the mathematics area and engineering you have people from diverse countries who have done videos to specifically teach you what you don't know in your course or specifically help you in your course and it will make your course quite easier for you so try to use youtube when you are having any difficulty or challenge with respect to any course you are studying and it will be of great help to you yes i bet you try that and send me a message yeah so the next one will be number three and at number three we have quillbot yes quillbot 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 um let's try and check quillbot out so quillbot is a website that helps you to simply it helps you to rephrase your statement yes it helps you to rephrase your statement no i think this is not a quillbot i'm looking for okay i think this is it so quillbot good this is the one i'm looking for so quillbot.com so let's say you have um something you want to paraphrase so you put it here you you paste it here then you you paraphrase it and it will give you a standard paraphrased um word document or standard paraphrased construction so you have several um options here that you can use to paraphrase your document i think you need to explore it and they have gram grammar checker they also have plagiarism checker they have um, a summarizer and they have a citation generator so you can have it in your word document too as well they have a word extension so you can download it and you have it on your web as well so try and check it out it's a great platform especially when you are trying to minimize your words let's say you have written a document that is 2500 words and you need to trim it down to maybe um, thousand words it helps you to paraphrase this document in, in a much better way yes it will help you so check it out quillboard.com that's the logo right there check it out so we have number two at number two i think number two will be quite new for you yep 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 so number two is pro and procon.com yes procon.com procon.org so it's not dot com procon.org so check it out procon.org so procon.org let's see what they have to offer procon dot org great good so we have procon dot org okay so procon dot org offers you a variety of topics that and it offers you a variety of topics and writings on these topics so for instance you are checking on something relating to dress codes and you have a topic so this is the topic the topic gives you arguments for and against so procon.com is quite good when you are trying to write um, an argumentative essay. So writing for and against and all that. So it gives you several points to check out when you want to write a good essay. Yes, and they have other options as well. So I think you should try it out, procon.org. Try it out and read about them and check out what they have to offer. Okay, so number one drum roll number one number one number one number one let's see number one is quizlet quizlet.com 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 so let's see quizlet.com quizlet gives you an opportunity to have several questions quizzes answered solutions and all that and it's quite great it's very 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 useful for every student yes it gives you an opportunity to have access to how you can study as a student so you see they have a youtube channel and then our youtube option here how to memorize anything with quizlet flash flashcards so you sign up you have subjects 
different subjects here you can view all of them every subject that you are doing i think you should have an option on quillboard um quizlet yes i think you should have an option here they have expert solutions for you and they have several 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 packages that will be so great for you so check it out check you can let's say for instance okay let's do this let's check on solutions okay so solutions we have let's say calculus and calculus they have a book here which has over 7900 solutions and exercises so you can check the exercises out and you will be so greatly helped so you have all these exercises let's say exercise one let's click on exercise one you see that there's a solution here yes and the question is this so when you check it out i think it gives you the full solution and how that you can solve it yes so check it out quizlet.com and i mean let's say law for instance let's do another one let's do uh, something on maybe criminal law oh uh, yeah let's do criminal law and something on forensic evidence so forensic evidence i think you have flashcards here that will help you so what is an evidence you, you have it here it's a flashcard that helps you to memorize things quite easy yes so so many things in here and it will be of great blessing to you so i will leave the links in my bio or in the comment section as well so that you can access these links and it will be of great help to you once again my name is nana Bimpon and this is my channel and don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like the video and don't forget to share the video so see you another time bye bye